Hi guys, this is Vineet and in today's video we'll, we will discuss about uh, the concepts of uh, moving database files to other location or to other servers or other server locations. Let's quickly uh, go to notes. So uh, these are the notes. Uh, in case you want to note, uh, jot down these notes, please go ahead and do so. In case you need the PDF copy of these notes, uh, what you can do is uh, you can um, take a screenshot of the header information below the video. Uh, a sample has given below for one of my videos, display data and log space information for database. Similarly, below this video, uh, this information must be coming. So you can take a copy of this screenshot of this complete information, which indicates that you have subscribed to my channel. So how you can subscribe? Just below this video, there is a subscribe button. Click on the subscribe button. Uh, when you click on subscribe button, a bell notification icon will appear. Click on that bell notification icon, select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. And once you subscribe to my channel, take a screenshot of that below header section, like this example, uh, which is shown just below. And send that uh, screenshot to my email address address uh, v e r m a v i n e at gmail.com uh, so once i get your email uh, indicating the name of the video and uh, showing the proof that you have subscribed to my channel i will send you the pdf copy of the notes uh, in case you don't want to write uh, other option can be you can write down the notes while i'm uh, going through the topic so what we will discuss today is we will discuss about the concepts of uh, moving database files uh, to other location or to other server location so how do we do that? How do we move the system and uh, user databases? Uh, we can do this basically by specifying the new file location in the file name clause of the alter database statement. So in order to move the files, we need to use the alter database statement. Under the alter database statement, there is a file name clause. Uh, in the file name clause, where we can specify the location of the new location of the database files and in this way uh, both the data log and the full text catalog files can be moved we will do, uh, talk about the full text catalog files in our upcoming video so keep a watch and please uh, do subscribe to my channel in case you don't want to miss out on any of the videos and basically we can move data log and uh, full text catalog files to another location by using the alter database statement and the file name clause and basically why do we do that uh, there are certain situations where we need to change the location of the files so what are those situations if you're doing certain kind of like failure recovery for example if the database if our database comes into a suspect mode in those situations what we can do is uh, we can move the database files to some other location or another situation can be one situation can be is that our database in sus suspect mode or another situation can be our database has shut down because of some system failure that can be one of the other situations where we need to perform the relocation of the files uh, it could be a planned relocation as well if you're doing certain kind of maintenance like some scheduled disk maintenance and we don't want to keep database files on that disk for a particular period of time or until the maintenance is over we can plan to move those uh, files to other location so in this video i'm not covering any practical basically i'm just discussing the concepts so there will be upcoming videos uh, where i will be doing practical uh, where I will be showing you practically how to move the files so keep an eye on this video series and uh, do hit on the subscribe button uh, please like comment and share this video and also I thank you so much for your time and this video we will uh, we we have discussed what we have discussed is how you can relocate the files or move files to other server and you can do so by using the ultra database statement file name clause and we have also discussed about some of the situations when you need to do that so why do you need to relocate the files to other servers so we are coming uh, covering 
just this much in this video and uh, in the later videos I will be doing some practicals I will be showing you practically how to do this stuff so keep an eye and subscribe to this channel and th thank you so much uh, for your time on this video again and you have a wonderful day ahead